Chris Kobach still in the lead for the Republican nominee in the Kansas governor's race. At last check, he's up more than 300 votes over Jeff Collier. Johnson County officials just put out their final numbers from the primary election, including a number of provisional ballots. 41 Action News reporter Stephen Dials following the latest results and joins us now to break it down. Stephen. This was a big blow to the Collier camp, and it's not looking that good. I talked to some people who were on the Collier team, and they were saying they were betting it all on Johnson County. This is his home county, and with that report from the Johnson County Election Commissioner, it does not seem like the governor will be able to keep his seat. Now, things are still unofficial, but after the report, Chris Kobach, the Secretary of State, gained 325 votes, and Kobach, uh, Jeff Collier gained about 300 votes and already before the release of that, Chris Kobach had uh, a multiple hundred vote lead over the governor. And so Chris Kobach will be having a press conference at 2.30, but I talked to the election commissioner about the contested uh, signature votes that were thrown out that were not counted. Take a listen at what Ronnie Metzger had to say moments ago. We, we followed the law and we, uh, we stand. Everything that we did, we have also done consistently uh, from the past right up to the current. Dues are clear, uh, the standards are clear, and the regulations are clear. Where we get into the, the, the differences, if we can't see for sure, then we seek counsel, we don't make it up. About 150 votes were thrown out that had signature issues. What this means to you at home, uh, when you sign a mail-in ballot, a provisional ballot, the, pe the people in the election office behind me compare that to the signature on your voter registration to basically prove that you are who you said you are when you are casting that vote that you're putting in the mail. So about 150 are being contested, and the governor's office has already, the governor's campaign has already said that they are questioning the legality of that being thrown out. And so this could go for uh, many more days, but right now it's looking really good for the Cobot camp. There will be a press conference in about 30 minutes. Ariel Rothfeld will be there. Guys. Stephen Dial reporting. Thank you.